I wanted to know, does the snorkel actually make you go further into the water? I've got the Dubsta SUV Benefactor, the equivalent of the Mercedes G-Wagon G -Wagon here to test it out with, and let's find out. We're also going to find out how the electronics work after going through some water. So, do you need a snorkel or ford across the river? No, you just need a slightly shallow spot. Go nice and slow. Not a problem. Let's see what this looks like in first person view. Does the wire come physically into the car? Not that you can see. But you'll like this. I'm wet. It's like I had an accident. You guys like that? That's good, huh? Now let's see how deep we can go. Yeah? I was a little worried I wasn't going to come out of that one. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I think over here is where I've sank in a couple of SUVs before. But we're finding that one. And I am up to my shoulders. Let's do that one again. Just a little bit slower. And then first person. And so ends the first person. So let's talk about the Benefactor Dubsta. Pretty awesome, right? I mean, pretty sure I just swam across that. Hey, did you see that? I'm apparently behaving myself. That was deep. Can I just go ahead and say it? The water is in the car. How do you like that? And it works just fine. Now it's time for us to sink this thing though. To see if we can uh, do more with a snorkel on it. So we can just power on through here. We'll have this mark, location marked on the map. And this is a completely stock SUV. Huh. It's not deeper. But when I drove with the river, it died. That's where the car died, is when you drove with the river. Let's see if the snorkel beats that. With the snorkel fitted, it looks like I can go swimming now. My purple SUV and my snorkel. Gonna go play in the river. Anybody wanna come join me? Gonna go play in the river all by myself now. So I have the mark point. Let's go back there. We know a much better way of crossing the river than using a bridge. Silly map. So I'm expecting this to have no problems crossing the river. It's the long way through that I'm a little concerned about. Just driving through the river. Because that's where I crashed the last time. But let's just... Oh, oh, oh. That's new. Uh, that was completely submerged. Like 100% in the water. And then drove right back out. Let's do that again. That was exciting. Any of you who weren't here to hear me make silly voices? I bet you're really excited now. So I'm trying to find that really deep spot where it looks like my guy might drown if he stayed in there. Where he needs a snorkel too, yeah. That was something. So, does the snorkel work? 
It looks like. Because I <laughs> was not expecting to make it out there. So now let's see if it can pass where the other one absolutely failed. So, it looks like, yes, the snorkel does allow you to go a little bit deeper. The key is it goes to where the snorkel actually is. Did I go a lot deeper? No, it went a couple of inches deeper. And it definitely allowed me, definitely allowed me across all the way across the river easily, even in the deep spot. But if you want a vehicle for going through the river and along it, gonna need a boat. I think that's about my summary. I'm going to call my insurance company, let them buy me yet another SUV, and hang it up. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. My name is Patrick, and I'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will try and come up with more short, Top Gear short live videos for you. Patrick Paul signing out. Have a good day, guys. I didn't plan on filling this blank space with a uh, commentary. Yep. Exciting. But I'll be to my destination soon, and you guys will be enjoying the snorkel run. Almost as much as I'm enjoying the snorkel run. Rolling with my snorkel.